Welcome to Arrange It with Tablature. When the musician started using the computer, a whole new world opened up to him. Not only are we recording our music in home studios, but we're preserving our creations in a whole new realm of media formats. One of these formats is what I call multimedia tablature. Not only can you quickly put your arrangements into tablature, but you can play them back, you can edit them, and you can even print and publish them in either hard copy or on the internet. There are several tablature software available, but I have found Tabeta to be the best. Its price, around $60, is quite reasonable, and once you get to know the basics, Tabedit is a very easy program to work with. The professional studio is quickly becoming a thing of the past, and a good tablature program is an essential part of any home studio. I've entitled these lessons, Getting Started with Tab Edit. It's the purpose of these lessons to acquaint you with the basics of Tab Edit. When I first started using Tab Edit several years ago, it took me a long time of trial and error to start producing quality tablatures. If I would have had a program such as this to get me started, I could have cut the learning curve down considerably. The help menu in TabEdit, while accurate and informative, didn't make a lot of sense to me until I had learned the basics, which slowly came by trial and error. I owe a lot of my progress to a good friend of mine, Larry Coons, who has not only helped me, but has helped dozens of musicians with this program. It's the purpose of these lessons to get you up and running with TabEdit in the least amount of time possible. What took me many months to accomplish, you will be able to do in a few short lessons. There is a lot about tab edit that won't be covered here, but what we will cover will get you up and running with good quality tabs. These lessons will be divided into two main groups. Lessons one through six will show you how to set up your screen and acquaint you with the main features of the program. In lessons 7 through 15, we will take the tune Red River Valley and put it into tablature from start to finish. We have included with Arrange It three tab edit files or what we call TEF files, which you will want to download onto your computer so you can reference them as you go. As you can see, these lessons take up a small area of your computer screen. You should have your tab edit program running on your desktop. Let me illustrate this. During the lesson, you'll be able to put it on pause and work on your tab. After you pause the lesson, go to the tab edit icon. You might have to move your lesson over a bit to find the icon and open tab edit. Make sure the tab we are working on is opened. Now we will be able to go back and forth between the lesson and our tab by just minimizing tab edit. Go up to the corner and minimize tab edit. Don't use the X. We don't want to close the program. We just want to minimize it. It will then become a button down here on our taskbar. You will then be able to go back to the lesson. You can hit the play button. You can hit rewind. You can hold the fast forward button down to move forward or backwards. Or you can move the timeline to any place in the lesson you wish. Or you can stop the lesson. When you are ready, click on the tab edit taskbar button and go back to working on your tab. And then when you're through working on the tab, go back to the lesson. By minimizing and opening the tab edit program, you will be able to go between the lesson and your tab as often as you like.
I have tried to cover everything involved with getting started in tablature. If there are areas you are familiar with, feel free to fast forward in the lesson or skip the lesson entirely. Once you have these basics down, go to the last installment and check out what is in store for Arrange It in the future. Now let's get started.